Rance began the day in 18th, 14 points and 15 places worse off than the visitors to the Stade Auguste Delon, third place Angers. They should have had alarm bells ringing like a night out in Glasgow's Garage nightclub, but despite thumping Monaco 3-0 at the weekend, Sco's form away from home was cause for concern. Stéphane Moulin's men had lost three on the trot and had hoped to get back on track with their podium place under threat. And they started with a bang. Angers picking up where they left off against Monaco. Just 15 minutes in. Terrific from Arnold Buka Mutu to act quickest and grab his first league and goal. But Rance weren't letting the pressure get to them. They ended strongly. Amari Traore with the equaliser. 27-year-old has scored a winner against Marseille in week three. And even though Alexander Letelje had thought he'd done enough, the ball dropping in. And Rance back level. Well, a huge half-time boost. Rance not lost a Ligue 1 home game to Angers since 1967, where many of those involved were born. Angers' last win came in Ligue 2, a 3-1 win in 2008, but Rennes unbeaten in their last seven. Well, Moulin looked concerned. No wonder, only five minutes after the restart, Gaetan Charbonnier put the hosts in front. Well, just his sixth start of the season, but repaying Olivier Guéguin with his second goal of the season with a lovely header. Pierrick Capel. He's been in great scoring form and had all the time in the world to get that on target, but somehow skewed it wide. Scored three matches in a row before a blank against Monaco. It looks to have dried up for the midfielder. Well, Johnny Placide was desperate to keep Angers out. Terrific save to push Thomas Mangani's effort over the bar. Well, he scored three times between weeks four and eight, but none since. But unfortunately, the game ended on a sour note. An absolutely horrific challenge from Capel. Didn't look sorry, but that is an absolute disgrace. First red card since he got marching orders in League 2 against Le Havre. And yet, Scott thought they'd find a late leveller. Cher Ndoy charging away in celebration. But the captain would be left... Absolutely dismayed sub Jean-Pierre and Sam would eventually be penalised for the foul on Placide. So it was a huge release for Rans when the full-time whistle came. A huge result for them. They remain on the right side of the relegation line while Angers slip off the podium.